Hey guys, welcome back to Expo Hub. Myself Rakesh, and today we are going to see how can you implement Excel formula using UAPA Studio. So here is a table, very simple table, which has couple of products, which is price per unit and the quantity. Now, if I ask you total value, if I have to order five pens per quantities, price is five rupees. So what is the formula you generally write is you multiply B2 into multiply by C2 hit on enter right this is what the formula you write and you copy paste this formula to all the cells that's how you get the output. Now if, if I have to do it in UIPA studio how it can be done we are going to see that okay so you have to write the values in each specific cells. So how can you design it? Let's see it on the studio. So first of all, I need to read the data, right? So I'll be using an Excel application scope. Okay, I'm using an Excel application scope and I'm going to point out to the file. Let me click on this. And I'm going to select the test file which I have created. All right, so once it is pointed out next thing I want to do is I want to read that particular Excel file so for that I am using a Excel read range activity simple and it is there in sheet 1 let's see that so it's there in sheet 1 whatever sheet it is I am going to mention it so by default it's sheet 1 and double quote means entire range it's going to read the entire range okay so once it reads it I want to store it in a variable so let's create a variable here in the data table and I'm going to say it as dt1 fine hit on enter so the dt1 variable has been created so it's going to read it and whatever data is there it's going to store in the data table one now the next thing I will do I'll use a for each row activity so let me drag and drop the for each row okay for each row there is also modern activity here for each excel row so whatever studio you are use, i mean uh, version of the studio you are using check if you have if you are using a classic design if you are checking on the show modern you will find this activity if you uncheck that that activity will not be there so let me use a general for each row in data table okay this is the activity i am using okay so once i have this activity here it is written as for each row and they, I am going to mention the data table name which is dt1. Okay, so the data table name has been entered. Now what I need to do when it is reading this data row, I need to find out the row index because I have to write a formula something like this, right? B2 plus, uh, sorry, into C2. This is the exact formula I wanted to write. So how can you achieve this formula? You need this index number because every time the for each loop is going, the index number will change. So the index number of this one is again B3. You can see, right? So this will B3 into C3 you have to do. So this number is changing. So to implement this, all you have to do, I am going to use a for each row and I'm going to show you. Let me use a assign activity. All right. Now in the assign activity, I'll create a variable called uh, row index. So I need the index number. Now in the row index, I'm going to write a simple expression. Okay, just check it out how I'm, how I'm writing this simple expression. So I need the row index. So we are in the for each row, right? So we are in the for each row. So and I'm passing the dt1 to current row. So I can say current row. So the DT1 is going to pass one by one row, right? So I would say DT1, the data table name dot rows, which is the property of the data table dot, then I'm going to say index of, this is the method or function of this property rows. Okay. So index of rows dot index of index of what I need, I need the current row whatever the current row is running I want that's index okay 
and click on OK. Now one must be interested to see what is the output of it. Why there is an error? Can you tell me? Because the row index variable has a string data type by default. So let me change it to integer. So when you create it for the first time, it will have string. So I have converted that to integer. Now to see the value, right? One will be interested to understand what value is coming. Now to see this value, I'm going to use a message box. And I'm going to say row index. Okay, let's see what value it is deriving. So row index, because this is where your understanding should be clear. And then I'm going to tell you the exact way you can get this formula implemented. First of all, let's understand what is the value coming. Okay. Let's let me run it. Okay, so the first row that means this is the first row, right? Pen 55. Five. Now, for the first row, what is the index number? The index number always starts from 0. Okay, if I click on OK for the pencil, this particular row, what is the index number? 1. Okay, it has appeared 1. Okay, this. Now for the third one eraser, okay, for the eraser, what is the index number? 2. So it's starting from 0, 1, 2 and the, for the last one, let's see, let me click on OK. For the last one, it's saying 3. So that means you should understand using this, the index number of this is 0, this is 1 and this is 2 and this is 3. So it is coming 0. Now to get what is the cell value of this D2, right? So if I write a formula something like this, let's say D, uh, the index value is 0. So with the index value, we need to add whatever the index value is 0, getting it. So what I'm trying to do is to, to write something into this cell. So this cell is D2, right? If you put on the Excel, what is the cell value? D2. Now, how do you get the cell value dynamically? To do that, first you can write this string called D. Then what you have to do? 0 plus 2, if I do the index number, whatever the row index is coming, 0 plus 2 if I do, then the final it will say D2, right? Similarly, D uh, plus 1 plus 2. So I have to add a 2 to the row index. So if I add a 2, then it becomes exact D2. This is D3, look at this, 1 plus 2, D3. Uh, and this is D4, 2 plus 2. So I have to add plus 2. That is the technique. So you remember this index number? Now let's understand the rest of the things which I am going to make it clear. So we got the row index number, okay, index number 0. Now to get the cell index, I will use another assign activity. You can do it in various ways, okay. Just to explain you, I am making it in slightly longer way. But again, once you understand this technique, you can do it in a shorter way. So let me create a variable which I will call it as cell index. Now, how do you get this cell index number? Just by adding 2 to the row index number. So, the cell index number, I am going to convert it to integer. And then, in the row index number, I am going to add plus 2. Simple. Okay, just by adding plus 2, I will get the cell index number, right? Isn't it? So, if you look at, the, what is the cell index number? 2. So, 0 plus 2. What is the cell index number? 3. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. What is the cell index number? 4 here, right? D4 right d4 so wh what i have to do with the row index 2 plus 2 so i will get 4 2 plus 2 4 so i can say d4 so i am getting the cell index number i have got okay now i have to write right so what i can do i will use a write cell activity and that is also i will take it from the under the excel so there are two things okay be careful excel and workbook will be there so ensure you are picking the excel one because i am using the excel application scope now, here what I have to do, I have to write a formula. What is our formula? Generally, what formula will you write? Equals to B2 into C2, right? This is the formula you will be writing. So, B2 into C2. So, how do I write this? Let me show you in the right set. So, this is the final technique. Equals to, right? So, I have to write everything in the string format. So, I will put a double quote and I am going to write equals to B, right? then I need that value to dynamically I want. So what I will do, I will say cell index. I have the variable which has the cell index number 2. So B2, it will become B2, right? Cell index dot to string. I'll convert that because this is the text field. 
so so now it has become b2 b plus so it will write b2 then uh, i will use a plus sign then in double quote i'll put a star which is for multiplication then i will write c so it will say equals to b2 into c because i have put a star mark over here okay you can't see it let me increase it to 11 okay so now you can see what i have done here i have put a star value or else let me open this panel in a bigger window so that you can see it okay so how i have written b plus cell index which is 2 right when the loop is running 2 so it will become equals to b2 plus c into c i put a star mark here okay into this is very important into c plus i'll copy paste the same b2 into c2 i have to do right so you can you can understand how you can manipulate this so more smartly you can manipulate it equal so what is the output of this b2 into c2 that is what it is going to write isn't it so click on okay so the moment this formula is written in the excel what would happen the output would come isn't it similar way the, when the loop is running similar way it's going to write so b and c remains constant so b it will become b3 1 plus 2 b3 into c3 similar way it will become b4 into c4 similar way it will become b5 into c5 the same formula the moment it writes the formula here automatically the values will come isn't it so let's see that okay let me save it now there is one more mistake is still there before you run it here look at the cell this is the formula we have written but which cell you want to write it right you want to write it in the d cell isn't it so for the d cell all i have to do i have to change it okay so what i have to do i have to the d is constant so i'll say d i'll say d okay and then give it a plus sign and i need the cell index cell index will have the proper number dot two string okay so that means going to write it in the right way so everything is set now let's debug it okay and open the excel file and wait for the values to change okay look at this did you see how it has written all the values it's not exactly writing the values but it is writing the formula okay the way if you look at okay look at this b5 into c5 if i go up b4 into c4 b3 into c3 b2 into c2 simple way right very simple way so you have understood how it is functioning then we can smartly design this so i wanted to give you a understanding of how it works so thank you so much guys for watching this we are going to come up with more such interesting contents which is going to help you build your career on ui path thank you guys thank you so much we are going to meet again in the next video take care bye bye